Halftone is an interesting effect to create a retro comic look. So let's jump inside Adobe After Effects to make something out of it. Alright, here I have my main comp and need another comp for the footage or the base layer. Now let's drag the footage, which in this case I'll use a photo to begin with. Ok, all set. Now let's go back to the main comp and create a white background, which is necessary for this effect no matter what your footage is. Drag the base layer on top of the background and turn it off. Then create a black solid layer for the CC ball action effect. Add the effect to the layer and set the grid spacing to 6 and the ball size to 30 for now. But we'll get into that later. Now that we have a grid of tiny balls, let's add an adjustment layer for the camera lens blur, which is going to reflect the base layer on these dots. Set the blur radius to 6, blur map to the base layer, and include the effects and masks. Now by default, it blurs out the bright areas of the image, but we need to invert it to get the actual look. Ok, but we can't still see anything. To fix it, we need to add the levels effect to the layer and drag the blacks all over to the right to make things visible. We're almost there, just add the curves effect to the base layer to darken the shadows and bring up the highlights. And we're officially done. What do you think? Isn't that cool? Now if you go back to the base layer, you can change the footage with anything you like and it'll have the halftone effect on it. Just remember that the size and spacing settings of the CC ball action and the blur amount of the camera lens blur should be set based on your footage and the look you're after in terms of details. But a general rule of using the halftone effect is that the tiny details tend to get lost in these dots. So it's better to try the effect on things with bold lines and shapes. If you like these classic looks, you can also check out our tutorial on creating a pixel effect that has its own unique taste. Good luck!